Aubrey, let's get right into it today because we have a lot to say about the task two introduction. And frankly, I don't want to waste any time. You know what I mean? Yes. Because today's episode, guys, this is a very straightforward lesson today on the best way, the most high scoring and easiest way to write your task two introduction. So Aubrey, can you please read the student's question about this? Okay, so this is from Muhammad, who said, hi, first of all, I appreciate your IELTS training videos. You're welcome. Muhammad. You're welcome. And then said, I'm a little bit confused how to write an introduction. Some places are saying that you need to write three sentences in an introduction, with the first being neutral or a background sentence, the second paraphrasing the question, and the third being your opinion sentence, while others are saying that the first sentence should be a paraphrase. Kindly clear up my confusion. What a great sentence. And I love that you're thinking about this ahead of time, Muhammad, and all of you out there who have thought about the introduction, because this should be very clear for you, very formulaic, very easy, so that you don't have to think about it on test day. Exactly. That is precisely the point, right? Um, you don't want to be looking at a bunch of different resources like Muhammad's doing, right? You're looking at a bunch of different uh, um, opinions and advice, right. and you don't know who to trust or what's correct. And honestly, like, I mean, any of those could be fine, depending on the language you choose and how direct you are. You know what I mean? Like, right. it depends on how you're writing these things. Like, I th that could be fine. First sentence background, second 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 sentence paraphrase, third sentence opinion could could work. But guys, um, what you need to do is choose one system that you know you can trust and just do that. Okay. So we are going to, going to give you our own strategy for how to write the introduction today. Um, and this works for both argument and opinion. And next week, guys, we're going to talk about the problem solution introduction. Okay. So let's get to this structure. What do we recommend doing in that first paragraph? Yes, and stay to the end because we are going to give you introductions for two different task two essays so that you can see how you will do this on test day. So for, for the first sentence is a paraphrase. You don't necessarily need any other background. You want to save time with your introduction. So the first thing you're going to do is paraphrase that test question. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So all that is, guys, is... Um, Identifying the keywords in the question, what are the most important uh, words, points in this question, and putting that into your own words, okay? So I wouldn't say, like, it's not as easy as just saying, like, write the question but in your own words. That doesn't always work. You do have to put some thought into it, okay? So it's not like a direct one-to-one -one synonym of the question. You're paraphrasing the question, but what you're doing is you're introducing the general topic. So it's a general sentence. The main idea of the essay is in that sentence, and um, you are paraphrasing the keywords from the question, okay? And you do have to be careful here. We do often see students, when they're paraphrasing that topic, if they don't quite understand it, if they're not taking the time to read it twice, make sure you understand it, they'll accidentally paraphrase something else, go off topic. So you want to be careful here to make sure you understand the question before you rewrite it, before you paraphrase it. Exactly. That's a great tip. I mean, n n this won't work if you don't understand what the question is saying, right? So that's why, yeah, like that's why I'm saying don't just paraphrase word for word, synonym for right. synonym, because that probably won't make sense. You have to understand the question's meaning before you can paraphrase. Okay. Awesome. Awesome tip. Okay. So first you rephrase the test question. That is how you introduce the topic of the essay. You do that right away in that first sentence, guys. Um, and then after that, you will have two more sentences that give two opinions. So you describe the other opinion, right, that you don't agree with. You say, some people believe blah, blah, blah. And then you give your opinion. You say, however, I feel that blah, blah, blah. So we have two opinions, right? And your opinion is one of those. And what is the last sentence of the introduction? Now, your last sentence will be a thesis. You are creating a map here for the examiner so that they know what to expect in your essay. Are you going to share reasons for both sides? Are you just sharing an opinion essay with just reasons for your side? You want to make that very clear in this thesis sentence. 
Exactly, exactly. So like Aubrey said, this thesis statement, it's a it's a general statement, right? But it is very important because you are telling the examiner what they will read in the body paragraph. Like Aubrey said, it's a map. Okay, that's what the whole introduction is. The whole introduction is a map. So the examiner knows the topic of the essay, what opinions are going to be discussed, and what exactly you're going to do in the body, right? That's it. All right, let's get to these examples. Aubrey, can you read the first task two question? Okay, so our first one is, most societies are based on rules and laws. If individuals were free to do whatever they wanted, society could not function. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Agreed. Um, okay, but <laughs> let's get to the example paragraph. So Aubrey wrote this paragraph. It is fantastic. So uh, first, we rephrase the test question. We introduce the topic of this essay. So Aubrey says, for centuries, civilization has relied on the rule of law to keep order. What a fantastic paraphrase. Well, I love thank it. You. Um, and then <laughs> you introduce both opinions, right? The other side and your side. Um, so continuing with this introduction, some some believe that laws are unnecessary, but it is my opinion that chaos would reign if citizens were not governed by laws. <gasps> what a fantastic phrase. Chaos would reign. Um, <laughs> sounds so like, like mythological. Um, and then thesis statement in the following paragraphs, I will provide support for this stance. So we know from that thesis statement that I am going to read an opinion essay, right? Because you say in the following paragraphs, I will provide support for this stance. That means you are going to support that one opinion. Okay. So that tells me what essay it is. All right. Let's get to an argument example. Aubrey, can you read the question? Okay. Our question here is more and more people are becoming seriously overweight. Some people think a solution can be to increase the price of fattening foods. To what extent do you agree or disagree? And what a tricky little foxy question this is because it look, I think students would look at this and think, oh, problem solution. And they might structure their essay incorrectly, mm. right? Like it is yeah. essentially an argument essay, right? So you have one opinion to increase the price of fatty foods. And then the other opinion is no, <laughs> that won't work. We'll do something else, right? Um, okay. So here is the introduction for that essay. It is undeniable that obesity has become a worldwide epidemic. So again, I'm just rephrasing important uh, keywords from the question. And then I present the opinions. Some are of the opinion that simply making unhealthy food more expensive will solve this problem. However, I feel that a major shift in exercise and food choices would be a better solution. In this essay, I will explore both of these opinions in detail. Okay, guys, so notice from that thesis statement, I am telling the examiner this is an argument essay, right? It's just super clear, super direct. Yes. And one thing to point out here, I love how you noticed that the word solution in this essay could really throw students off. You know, there are problem solution essays. You have to be careful. This is IELTS trying to trick you. Yeah. So don't fall for that. You need to really read this question twice. Make sure you understand what you're being asked. What should your opinion be about in order to answer this question? And another thing here, you know, Muhammad's sort of asking like, how many sentences do I need? What exactly should be in each sentence? Notice that this introduction has four sentences. It's not about how many sentences you have. It's about what needs to be included in this introduction. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, it, it should have three to four sentences, right? Because those two opinions can be combined into one sentence or two different sentences, right? That's the only sort of flexibility there. Um, yes. Yeah, so I think the biggest takeaway today, guys, is that it is vital in order to stay on topic, in order to write a good introduction, um, that you read the question a few times, slowly. <laughs> like, make sure you understand what it's saying and what kind of essay it's asking you to write. Awesome. I'm excited for you guys to go in on test day, knowing what should be in your introduction. This should be fast. You do not want to spend a lot of time on test day thinking about what should go in my introduction. What should this, you should have practiced so much ahead of time that you're able to write the introduction very quickly. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. So if you are ready for a complete system of strategies, everything you need to get the score on IELTS that you want, check out our online course, go to allearsenglish.com slash KE y s awesome and we will see you guys next time all right sounds good bye aubrey bye